what you guys do and and wore clothes that were much too big for him. I turned my attention back to the man. Much he was now mumbling to my brother about how it would only take a second. My brother kindly declined again. <laughs> you look disturbed, Sparky. Being the helpful kid that I was, I joined him with the man and tried to persuade my brother that we should help this guy out. No. I turned to my brother, who was now staring down at the little boy. My brother had a disturbed expression on his face as he looked down at the child. What is that thing? The child stared what is that little thing? What is it? I didn't understand why my it's your baby. Face. It's a little baby. Said, Look, at Look, at baby. Look at it. Look at it, baby. Look at it, baby. Look at it, Sparky. Look at it, baby. I didn't understand what was going on and why my brother had just lied about our mum being over there. He didn't let go of my hand and practically dragged me until we were far away from the man and What do you son. think about it? I looked back and could still see the man holding his son's hand. Only now. What do you think about that thing? He had a look of fury on his face. You like it? What do you think? And they walked away. You too sleepy. I pulled away from my You're too sleepy to think about it. Are you too sleepy to think about it? He shushed me and pulled his cell phone out of his pocket. I think it's alright. Couple tiny. Look how. It's like its body is the size of its head. I remember the police showing What's up with that? What's it so tiny for? What do you think? My mother was left with the police. I asked my mother what was going on. Hmm. And she said that the police were just questioning my well, brother because the man we had encountered was very... Not dangerous. much to it, I don't guess. That's all she told me. And I went to bed. By the next morning, I had almost completely forgotten about... I think the that he thinks that, that uh... You have boys. It's going to be disappointed. I decided to call my now 22 year old brother to get some answers. When I brought the whole ordeal back up to him, he finally gave me the information I wanted to know. Yeah, I'm 100 percent sure that he does. That's not a thing, a little bit. Here, why don't get you? My brother told me that while the man was constantly trying to convince us to come with him, he happened. Are you just gonna like let him do that? The little boy then looked at my brother with his eyes filled with terror and mouthed out the words, I'm not his son. Please help me. Oh my god. Then his expression went back to being completely blank, as if he'd never said anything at all. This was why he had become so freaked out and snatched me away. When he called the police, they hurried down and he described the man as best he could. They couldn't do much with the little information my brother had given. That's not even where nipples are. Supposedly had. My brother told me that a few weeks into the investigation, <laughs> Your face. the man, little boy, was with the man, dead. His body had been cruelly dumped in the woods. Sorry, God. 